Lawrence, you used Photoshop a lot um, before you used Painter. How do you feel about the new ABR brush import feature? This is actually, I, pr I think, probably my favorite new feature. I created a lot of brushes while I was in Photoshop. Um, since, since I've been using Painter, funnily enough, I, I haven't created that many new brushes. Um, in Painter, you don't really create new brushes as such from a, a Photoshop standpoint. Um, you tend to adapt brushes, you know, because you don't have stamps. What you tend to do is just fine tune brushes. It radically changes them, but you you don't see yourself as creating brushes. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, there, but, you, you just you tweak the parameters rather than actually physically building new brushes. Exactly, it's about settings rather than about the the stamps. Mm -hmm. But I've got a lot of brushes from Photoshop that I can't replicate exactly. I have, for instance, a whole bundle of cloud brushes that I absolutely love, um, a lot of which I made from actual photo references that I went out and shot myself, some even just with my iPhone, and I just went out there and went, that's a nice cloud. And <laughs> no, but it works. You see a nice cloud, you take a photo, you can turn that into a brush. And it absolutely worked. And even for little things like photo retouching, which I, you know, I've done a bit of, and, and that was great, you know, or for illustrations that I've done. And you can pop it in there and it looks brilliant, you know, with a couple of clicks, you've dropped a couple of clouds in there. Mm -hmm. But in Photoshop, I've made those brushes and it's absolutely great. In Painter, my clouds actually look more painterly. And that's what I actually love about Painter as opposed to Photoshop. You can yeah. tell the difference between my work in Painter and my work in Photoshop. But now I can take all the brushes that I created in Photoshop and import them into Painter. So I can actually, you know, it's not just a straight import, granted. I do have to... Once I've imported them, I have to play with the settings, you know, because I'm only importing the stamps. It's yeah. not, you know, I, the, the brushes work differently, so I have to play with all the settings. And, but that's great because Painter has a lot of settings, so mm -hmm. I can actually fine-tune the brushes and make them better than they were in Photoshop. Yeah. But once I've done that, I end up with a beautiful set of brushes, and I can replicate what I've done in Photoshop now even better. So I, I've got, you know, Painter has nigh on a thousand brushes and I can go ahead and give, I can go ahead and give it all of the brushes, you know, probably a couple of hundred more that I had from Photoshop mm -hmm. from all those years gone by. So that to me is my favorite feature. Yeah, that's and pretty cool. If you look online at all the downloadable brushes that you can get for Photoshop, there's loads of brushes online that you can yeah. download for Photoshop that people have made compared to the amount of brushes that are online that people have made for Painter. Mm -hmm. So downloadable brush-wise, there's a never-ending content supply yeah. now of brushes. Yeah, and, and these are... So, these are um, stamp brushes, so pretty much anything that you could paint or draw, you could make into a brush. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I found that I needed to adjust the spacing more than anything because uh, when I imported the brush and I started painting, it was kind of uh, it looked just like a very stroke. Yeah, um, it was somewhere between a stamp and an actual stroke. Um, if I might just do a quick screen share, I'll just kind of really quickly do a quick Definitely. import of a brush, an ABR brush. I did, I did find, you know, straight off the bat, this is why I was saying about, you know, changing the settings, because if you don't change the settings, you just end up with a, a smear. Yeah. Rather than anything else. Um, are you able to see my screen? Yeah, I can okay. see screen. So you go to brushes and then import, and then you choose new from Photoshop brush stamps ABR. 
The yeah. folder you're going to want to look in on Windows is wherever Photoshop is installed. Photoshop yeah. CC presets brushes. And then let's pick uh, dry media brushes, for instance. It's going to ask you to name the category. You can choose whichever name you want. And then that's going to import as its own category in your brush selector. If you look down here at the bottom, there's now dry media brushes. And if I select and paint, you can see it looks a little funky. So I'm going to want to go into window, brush control panels, spacing. And in this general panel, you can really tweak just about any function of this brush. So as Lawrence said, you can either set this up exactly how you did it in Photoshop, or there's about a billion other things that you could use to tweak this brush even more. So in the spacing, I'm just going to decrease the spacing maybe to about 3%. And now it looks more like that brush would in Photoshop. If you wanted it to be more like a stamp, you could increase the spacing, and then you get whoops, more of a stampy effect. So that's importing those Photoshop brushes in a nutshell. Pretty cool feature. It is really quick and it's really simple and it just works. Yeah. And that's, um, I think, I think a lot of Photoshop lovers and a lot of people who use Photoshop in conjunction with Painter will absolutely really love that feature. Mm -hmm. It's another one that just helps it seamlessly work. Yeah, I, I heard somebody refer to it as cross-pollination between Corel Painter and Photoshop, you know, and that, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because some people kind of get the impression that it's like, you got to choose one or the other, man. Are you Photoshop or are you Painter? And I use both applications, you know, I use Photoshop for its strengths and I use Painter for its strengths. Yeah. And there's very rarely a, a time where I only use Painter for a painting, you know? Yeah. It's not um, blood and cribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 